Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are opening up some Pokemon TCG product. So for those of you who don't know, I actually do play the Pokemon TCG. I actually play uh, quite a few card games. So I play Weiss Schwartz. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I play Pokemon now. Um, so we're going to open up some product today. We have a Pikachu and Zekrom GX Battle League deck as well as a Trainer's Toolkit. Now, the best part about these is that they come with codes to pretty much everything I'm going to need to get started on PTCGO, which is what we might be streaming from time to time is some uh, Pokemon trading card game online. So I'm not a big fan of ripping things open. Um, as many of you may know from past openings that I don't like to violently rip things open i like to kind of peel away until it uh until it opens up so there we go we got a nice clean pull there and see see how lovely that all comes out beautiful all right so we have let's go ahead and put this to the side for now so we'll be opening both of these products up on this video but here is everything that comes with the pikachu and zekrom battle league deck so you get this little info sheet which i have no idea what it is it looks like it's just uh an explanation of the battle decks so it looks like we've got the reshiram and charizard on that side and then we've got the pikachu and zekrom one on this side truthfully i think that pikachu and zekrom is probably the better one of the two i'm not really sure how i feel about the reshiram and charizard a friend of mine was talking to me about it and it looks like that one actually does a good job of surviving the rotation whereas pikaram loses things like thunder mountain electro power but i'm still a big fan of electric types a big fan of psychic types so Let's go ahead and open up our Pikaram deck. Now, this this deck is pretty amazing. Let me actually let me actually pull up the box and kind of give you a brief overview of everything that's inside. So it tells you everything that's inside here, and it comes with so much good stuff. It comes with two copies of Pikachu and Zekrom, a copy of Raichu, Alolan Raichu, four Jirachi, which was always like the one of the most expensive cards in the entire game. So instead of actually just showing you that, let's actually just open it up. So let's go ahead and open this up. Take that plastic out. Pokemon loves its plastic. There's so much plastic in all of the product. All right, so we've got our Raichu and Alolan Raichu copy. We've got two copies of the original Pikachu and Zekrom. Really good start here. That's already pretty good value. I don't know how much it retails for now, but these Pikachu and Zekroms used to be like five bucks a piece. So then we have the deck itself, which we will open in a minute, as well as this awesome box to carry everything in. I actually think this is really convenient, especially if you're kind of like an on-the-go player. You just kind of open this up, put the cards in, and then you're on your way. We have a GX counter, which is no longer particularly relevant, or at least it'll be only relevant until the next Sword and Shield rotation, because uh, Tag Team GXs are no longer being printed as of Sword and Shield. So I'm expecting next year we won't be using that anymore. Uh, so we've got the code card that I'm going to be using for PTCGO. And then, of course, we have our nice little dice here with the big giant heads tails dice, as well as dice that Pokemon have actually moved to recently, where it's actually just the damage counter. So I think that's actually super nice, super convenient, because people always use dice to measure damage, and Pokemon company is like, you know what, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should make this easier on our players and just put the damage counters on there. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of peruse through the deck really quickly. So first of all, it's already pre-shuffled. Which is kind of funny because right out of the box, you already have everything shuffled in here. So in case you wanted to just shuffle in the Pokemon and then just start playing, you can do that. So when it comes to the stuff in here, lots of great stuff for the electric box. And everything in this everything in this Battle League deck survives rotation, which is actually pretty important because it means that people that get started with this deck can keep going with this deck. So we had two copies of Mallow and Lana. We did have the Tapu Koko Prism, which is staple in almost any electric deck. We've got some Poke Gear. Ordinary Rod, Quick Ball, which is almost a necessary four of in some decks, uh, Switch, Vitality Band, another Research. So again, everything's already in here. We've got Marnies, which is one of the best trainers in the game right now, just being able to disrupt your opponent's hand, while at the same time building your own. Air Balloon, which is starting to become a necessary card in order to retreat for free. Obviously Switch with this deck, very, very important to pivot, especially since we're losing Zero Aura. We've got Rotom Bike, which doesn't really see a lot of play, unfortunately. Three copies of research, I believe. I don't believe we get four. Four copies of switch, super important. So yeah, lots of good stuff. Reset stamp is going to be super important for hand disruption. Let's just put all the energies off to the side. Electromagnetic radar, one of the best search tools in my opinion. It's almost like a... One of the good things about it is that it lets you drop cards. So you can drop electric energy with this and then bring it back with the Tapu Koko Prism Star. We've got a few copies of Pokemon Communication. Of course, we start hitting the most valuable card in this whole thing, Jirachi. So we also had Ener Energy Switch later. Now we have Tag Switch. 
Lots of energy. I believe the deck came with 13 energy. There's an electromagnetic radar there. Pokecom here. So this deck is actually really good. Like, right out of the box, this deck is really good because it comes built in with a lot of the stuff that you're going to need just to get started. Honestly, Hoopa, I'm not really sure how this card works. I don't really see it a lot. I've seen it in a few decks, but I don't know how it plays, truthfully. I've never really watched those games. And then an Apom, which I'm not really sure why this is in here. Uh, discard random cards from your opponent's hand until they have five cards in hand. You know, under the case where your opponent's got a lot of cards in hand. We have an Electos, which, uh, let me see what this does. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your hand and you have at least four Lightning Energy cards in play, you may play this Pokemon onto your bench. If you do, move any number of energy from your other Pokemon over to this Pokemon. Okay, so it's like a substitute for Tapu Koko GX, who unfortunately rotated out last time around. More energy, we've got a Pokecom, another Jirachi, another Erica's Hospitality. Pretty decent uh, draw, draw supporter there. Three Electromagnetic Radar, two Tag Switch. We got a Zapdos, which is a pretty good as a one-of, because sometimes you just want to clean out with that one prize Pokemon, switch it into the active with something like a Switch, or you retreat, and then you just smack for 80 damage on a Pokemon that's got 110 HP, which is pretty good. So lots of good stuff coming in the Zapdos, or I'm not, sorry, not the Zapdos, the uh, Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team Box. So lots of good stuff. Again, that was just a brief overview. You can see that exact same information on the back of the box. So let's go ahead and scoop all of this up. And there's a lot of really relevant supporters in here. So even if you're just starting, even if you don't plan on playing Picaram, you still do get the Jirachis, which are a staple for any deck. You get the Air Balloon, which is pretty nice. You get the Marnies, which are staple. The Professor's Research is staple. So yeah, lots of staples in this deck. Whether or not you plan on playing... Uh, the Pikachu and Zekrom deck itself. There's still a lot of good stuff in here that can make it worth, I believe I paid $25 for the box. And considering you get the code for PTCGO, which is really important with things like COVID and stuff going on right now, I honestly think this is an amazing value, especially for any beginner or someone who, like me, wants to get started on PTCGO. Because really, this deck is playable right out of the box. Granted, you know, there could be a few more things like uh, more quick balls or uh, things like that. But all in all, super sweet value for 25 US dollars. Now let's go ahead and move on to the other big thing. So let's uh, let's just put this inside for now, which is gonna be this trainer's toolkit. Probably the best product that's ever been released uh, pretty much in the past year. I can't even remember a product that was actually cooler than this. This was super, super good to release. I think one of the best things that was released before this was maybe the, uh, what is it? The Tapu Lele GX box. That was back in the day when like Tapu Lele was the best card. It fit, it fit in like any deck pretty much. Just getting that one supporter enough to get you that uh, Guzma for win. So many so many applications for uh, Tapu Lele GX. But unfortunately, it was towards the end of its lifespan, so the price dropped a lot. But at the same time, it was dropping already just because uh, not too many people were looking for it at that point. All right, so here is the Trainer's Toolkit, which comes with literally almost everything you need to build a powerful deck. So these two together, I would honestly say, is enough for any beginner to just get started. All right, so here's our Trainer's Toolkit. It comes in this super awesome looking box, first of all. This is actually a deck box size box, meaning that I could just put like multiples of these in here. Granted, it's for real deck boxes, so this seems a little bit like there's going to be some space in between, but... It's for real deck boxes. You just put a bunch of deck boxes in there. I have an example right here. Let me actually grab it. All right, so this is a Weiss Schwartz deck box. It's from Sword Art Online 10th Anniversary. And it's not fully loaded right now, but as you can see, I just kind of put the decks in there. It's the same idea with the Trainer's Toolkit. So right, right away, you know, the box itself actually has some good value as a storage unit. All right, let's go ahead and open up this Trainer's Toolkit. And take a look at the stuff inside. All right, so we did get a poison and burn counter with the with the Picarom with a Picarom deck. We do get four packs, so we get one unbroken bonds, one sword and shield, and two rebel clash packs, which we will be opening up. We do get some dice. Again, we've got the coin flip dice, which is the one with the numbers, as well as damage counter dice, which is really convenient. Oh, let's see here. What's the rest of the stuff in here? All right, we get a nice little card game rules for someone who's just getting started to play. We have a Trainer Toolkit Deck Builder's Guide. So I take it this comes with just some tips on uh, how to build things. Oh, hey, there's Pikachu and Zekrom. So, yep, it, it looks like just some, some basic stuff. See, here's an example of the popular Pikachu and Zekrom GX deck list, which can be found in the Battle League deck. So 
Again, it, it even references the Battle League itself. So really putting these two together, you've got almost everything you need. And again, just a few extra things that you might need on the side, like uh, Dedenne GX, which comes in here, the speed energy, there's so much good stuff. So much good stuff in this trainer's toolkit, and I believe you can get it on Amazon for only like 28 US dollars, which is pretty sweet. All right, we've got some sleeves, which is really nice. Again, just kicking you off, and honestly, these sleeves look amazing. Like, it's got the little energy symbols just all over the place. Uh, so really, really cool stuff. I believe this is fairy energy, which is kind of sad because fairy energy is going away, uh, but not a big deal. Again, super cool, and I'll still love my, guardi uh, my Guardian deck as long as I can have it. All right, so there are the sleeves. We've got the set list of cards here, opening up with a full art to Dene GX alternate art. So we'll go ahead and open that next. We've got the code card, which I will be using for PTCGO. And then we get a stack of, I believe, energy card. How many here? I believe, well, it just says 150 cards, but it doesn't say how many energy. But yeah, it looks like this is just a huge stack of energy. And again, it's a trainer's toolkit. So this probably has enough energy for you to build any deck that you want. So super cool stuff there. And again, the box itself is valuable as a deck box. So let's go ahead and drop this off here. We're not going to open up the energy just because there's no reason for me to. I have all the energy that I need. And it's nice having in this nice little tight packaging so that I don't have to, uh, don't have to worry about opening it and then just figuring out what to do with the cards. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. If I could find, it's got a nice like rubber band thing going on here. Ah, here it is. So there's like a nice little opening in the back, as you can see it right there. Let's go ahead and tear that open. And again, this trainer's toolkit is one of the best products that I've ever seen come out of Pokemon TCG. Granted, for me, I haven't been a long time player of the Pokemon trading card game. I actually started... Ooh, we gotta be careful there. I actually started with Burning Shadows, and actually my first ever pre-release, uh, I lost all my games, but my participation pack was uh, Charizard GX Hyper Rare which was a nice little start to my uh, Pokemon trading card game, uh, I guess, career. <laughs> All right, so we've got two to Dene GX. Very, very good card that lets you drop it. You discard your hand and draw six cards. Very good for if you're ever stuck or if you want to get some draw support and then still have your supporter for play. Like, let's say you want to go to Dene GX and you can still use your boss's order. Super good stuff there. Two copies of Mallow and Lana, like I was saying with the Pico, uh, the Picorom deck. This is really good for pivoting and healing at the same time. And healing is really relevant in today's format because a lot of Pokemon are trying to like two shot or three shot. But with Mallow and Lana, it extends your game, making it much harder for your opponent to knock you out and gives you some very important pivots in case you need to change out Pokemon. We got, let's see, there should actually be two bosses orders in here. Let's see if I could find them real quick. Uh, ah, there's a second one. Two bosses orders, which was probably one of the most disgusting additions to this box. It literally dropped the price of the hollow bosses order from, I believe, like $15 or maybe like $10 down to like three, four bucks, which is super, super good. We've got Poke Gear, really good for fishing out the supporters when you need it. Uh, quick Ball. Fire Crystal, which gives you three, uh, whoa, look at how badly cut that is. Look how badly cut, wow, these were, wait, these are really badly cut here. Let me, let me get this one closer. It's so badly cut that you can see the bottom of another card at the top. Like, that, that says at the top there, 2020 Pokemon Nintendo creatures. Like, that, that was really badly cut. I don't know if this is the bottom, the bottom part of it. Because it looks like these two are cut from the same thing. Yeah, you can't really see it too well, but uh, yeah, this Quick Ball and this Fire Crystal got super badly cut. But we get some rare candies, really staple stuff. Energy Spinner, good for starting off your game. Switch, which, uh, like I was saying, it's very important to pivot, especially since things like a Skateboard for Jirachi are getting out of rotation. We've got Metal Saucer, super staple in ADP Zation decks. Speed Energy, which is one of the best energy cards. You attach it to a Lightning Pokemon, and it's Pot of Greed. And everyone knows that Pot of Greed is a disgustingly broken card that has been banned in the Yu-Gi-Oh! world. Ordinary Rod. We've got Pokemon Communication, and I really dig these alternate arts. Let's take a look. So, Pokegear 3.0, this is an alternate art. Unfortunately, again, like that top part right there, it's like really poorly cut. Uh, and then Pokemon Communication, this is another alternate art which I, I actually truly like these alternate arts a little bit better they're kind of like cartoony but i feel like that's why i like them because they look kind of cartoony so we've also got a marnie air balloon again good for pivoting we've got a turf field stadium which is great for grass types 
Vitality Ban giving uh, 10 more damage to a Pokemon. Giant Hearth, so just lots, lots of good stuff. Lots of basic, you know, one ofs, two ofs that any deck can run. Aurora Energy, Professor's Research. There was a Welder in here. Evolution Incense. Again, these are these are really badly cut. Like, look at look at the top. They're really badly cut. Uh, Speed Energy, Reset Stamp, Fire Crystal, Marnies, Rare Candy, Quick Ball. So yeah, anyone who can pick this up, anyone who just wants to get started with the Pokemon TCG is definitely in for. Wow, look at that air balloon. I, I can't even believe that passed. <laughs> they were, uh, for a lot of these, look at look at the top border. The top border on these, some of them are real. They're so bad, they don't even have the Pokemon logo at the bottom of them. So look at this giant hearth. Nothing at the bottom. Evolution Incense, you could kind of see it, but it got shaved off. So I feel like with a lot of the cards that weren't really high value cards, they, they just kind of printed them and they're just like, it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. So the quality check on this box, unfortunately, was not very good, but... It's a great box. It is truly one of the greatest Pokemon products I've ever seen come from the Pokemon TCG. Just because it's got everything you need and it gets you it gets you kickstarted right away, which is really, really good. The boss's orders and the Dedenne literally were so good that they dropped the price of the the regular versions, which were, I believe the Dedenne was like 20 bucks prior to this box being released. And again, those boss's orders were like 10 to 15 each, which is like crazy value. All right, so let's go ahead, open our pack. So we will open it in this order, starting with Unbroken Bonds. So still some good stuff in Unbroken Bonds. Hopefully we can, if we can pull a Rainbow Rare or a Hyper Rare or a Secret Rare out of any of these, I would be a happy camper. All right, so let's go ahead and off the bottom, and I believe it's one, two, three, one, two, I believe is the order, and this should be the energy. All right, we got a Fighting Energy there. So we've got a Gligar, Miss Drevis, a Glammeow, a Growlithe, a Ghastly, Porygon Z as our reverse rare, so I think I actually messed that up, oops. Uh, we've got a Rhydon as our uncommon, okay, this is still an uncommon, we're still in uncommon territory. We've got a Wartortle, a uh, Cleffa, and we finish up with a Sharpedo, so unfortunately not, not the high rarity card that we're looking for. Let's see if we can get a, you know what, I actually think we opened the Sword and Shield one last, because that Golden Zacian still ringing out at about, I believe, like $60 a piece. So let's go ahead and open Rebel Clash. Let's see if we can get like a full art Sonya or a full art boss's orders. Either of those two would be absolutely incredible to pull. All right, so one, two, three, one, two. Okay. And then we take the bottom one out. So we get ourselves a lightning energy, which is very appropriate for this video. All right, we've got a Timpole, a Vullaby, a Galarian Corsola, which is super, super sad to look at. We've got a Toxel, which is a nice little Pokemon that's an electric poison type. We've got, oop, come on, Zoom. It, it always focuses on the wrong thing. So if I just kind of cover it, we just cover it and then zoom out. There we go. Got a Galarian Mr. Mime. Ooh, a Hatterene, which is kind of nice. This is a reverse rare. Super cool stuff. We've got a Milo, a Turfield Stadium, a Lombre. Ooh, Sanaconda V. So not the greatest V. Definitely, I don't think it's even usable right now. But you know what? We'll take it. Again, the box pretty much paid for itself with the boss's orders and the Dedenne GX. So we'll take it. We'll take it and no complaints. A V is a V, right? All right, so let's go ahead and take out the code because we're going to need that. Because again, we're just starting our PTCGO journey. So if y'all would like to join, I definitely, definitely would appreciate y'all stopping by. All right, we got a fighting energy there. So we've got in this pack, we can uh, get a good zoom. We've got a Scyther, a uh, Volibee. Oh, come on. Focus on the card. A uh, Dreepy, a Magmar, a Galarian Yamask. Th that Pokemon always freaked me out, to be honest with you. A uh, Full Heal, a Sonya, a Masquerain. Ooh, a Reverse Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Let's see, come on. There we go. Galarian Mr. Rhyme, and we finish. Ooh, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. All right, come on. Come on, camera. You can do it. A Grim Snarl, the emo Pokemon with the super, uh, super awful description. Look at that. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon costs one or one colorless energy more. All right, so unfortunately, it looks like uh, Sanaconda might be our best pull. Let's hope we can get something awesome out of here. A golden card would be awesome. 
a uh, full art Marnie would be awesome. A full art professor's research would be super cool. So let's see if we can get any of that in this final pack as we wrap up this opening. All right, so one, two, three, one, two, three, I believe is what it is. And then the last one's the energy. There we go. We got one more lightning energy there. So we've got in this final pack, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we could pull it off here. We got a score bunny, a Pikachu, a Sinistee, a Wooloo, a Shelter, a Stunfisk, Galarian Stunfisk, a Pokemon Center Lady. Oh, come on. I feel like this is a reoccurring problem with card games. Just just focusing on the card itself. A Sea King, a Mencino, and if I can get the Mencino. Oh, 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 snap. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Wait, wait. We, we prepared for this moment. We prepared for this moment with sleeves. Oh my goodness, the best supporter in game right now, and we got a full art copy, and it came in the box that had Dedenne GXs and Boss's Orders. This, this is not a golden card, but I truly love full art supporters. I love them even more than the Rainbow Rare versions, just because I like the color, the artwork's amazing, and, and y'all, it's, it's professor's research. Like, you cannot go wrong having the best supporter as a full art. So the value of this box is absolutely incredible. Again, even without the professor's research, even without the Santaconda, like just the Dedenne GX, the boss's orders, the code for a PTCGO that gives you all this stuff online is just so, 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 so worth it. So that is all for this box opening. Again, it's really great because even though there's all this clutter on this, it's like this, you know, I got the Pikachu and Zekrom deck. The trainer's toolkit itself is a box so i could just put everything in here super convenient oh my gosh i love this product this product is one of the best tcg products i've ever seen that was so player friendly that it completely destroyed the secondary market for the den agx and bosses orders and then just gave you a crazy ton of other cool stuff and packs to open that's crazy that's absolutely crazy but uh, yeah, that is all for this video. So again, we opened a Pikachu and Zekrom GX deck. We opened the four packs with the Trainer's Toolkit as well as the other stuff in the Trainer's Toolkit. So that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you all on the PTCGO streams, which I'll be doing from time to time. Unfortunately, I can't stream Kingdom Hearts Union Cross as much because when we do that, we stream for like eight hours at a time. And uh, unfortunately, I've got something coming up very important in the next two weeks that I got to make sure I'm prepared for. But uh, that is all for now. I hope to see you on those streams. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below, and I'd be happy to answer when I have the time. If you'd like to join my Discord, there's currently nothing for Pokemon, but I do have a section for other games, and as I see more people commenting on stuff, we create channels based on what, uh, what people show up for. But that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, until next time, take it easy. Oop. Take it easy. <laughs>